Awesome. Well, Jada, if you could just start off by introducing yourself and sharing how long you've been a mentor and where you serve as a Tennessee Achieves mentor. Okay. So um, my name is Jada Dow. Um, I am a Tennessee Promise mentor since I believe about 2018 um, for the Sumner County area. So most of my students have been at um, Gallatin High. And even during COVID, we did virtual and I still mentor students for Gallatin High School. Wonderful. Um, and you can talk a little bit about why you serve as a Tennessee Achieves Mentor generally, why it's important that you continue to serve in this role. Um, so just a little background. Um, I too, um, I went to a community college starting off. I went to Law State. Um, I was the first of, of my siblings. And so um, back when I was in college, I didn't know about, a lot about the process and my, my parents didn't either. Um, so um, when this opportunity, you know, came across, I thought about my experience and how um, I didn't have a lot of knowledge. I didn't have a lot of resources, um, how I would have done things differently. Um, there was a program back um, when I was in high school called Inroads, and I didn't understand how great of an opportunity that it was. Um, I thought because I was a young mom that I could, you know, actually go to a four year college, just a lot of different things. And so that inspired me to help other um, students just so they're um, aware of their opportunities, the resources that they have, um, and just really taking the opportunity. Um, but like I said, back in my day, we didn't have this opportunity and this is great. Um, this is a great start to um, college, just trying to you know, transition from high school to adulthood. And so I enjoy it. I love it. Um, every year I always get one great student that communicates and they're like, you know, thank you so much because I didn't know what I was doing or my parents didn't or just being a resource or just someone to just kind of encourage and motivate. So that's what kind of, you know, geared me, steered me toward being a mentor. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about that? Because I think oftentimes, um, you know, we give a mentor five students, seven students, and sometimes it is only one student or two mm -hmm. students that really need the support. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you see your support helping that one student? Because, um, you know, at Tennessee Achieve, we consider that one student to be a huge win. It's that student that we're really focused on. So can you talk a little bit about how you see it impacting that student? Um, so in the beginning, I was a little discouraged because none of my students would reach out. They would not um, respond. And then over over time, I realized you always get that one student and you impact their life. You make a difference. You'll see them out somewhere and they're like, thank you so much or, you know, something like that or their parents. I've had parents to email me and say, thank you so much. Like my daughter was not going to go to school or she just decided, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to go somewhere else or I don't want to go. Um, and it's basically because they just don't understand the process or they get frustrated. It's overwhelming. And so just to have that once, like I said, even if it's just that one student to say, thank you so much. Thank you for, you know, answering my questions, um, just getting me started or just being an encouragement. Um, that that just gives me joy, just, you know, being able to help somebody else. And I know you've already, uh, you've done so much already in the fall of 2022 to help share the mentoring need and kind of the mentoring program with others. Can you talk a little bit about why uh, it's important that you not only mentor, but why you've shared it with others. I know you've recruited like six or seven others to serve <laughs> alongside you. So um, share a little bit about that if you can. Um, so when we got the email about how many mentors we still needed, um, I thought about that's a lot of students that will, you know, either not go to school or um, just make the wrong decisions um, financially. And so um, I really, this was my first year really making an effort to just really promote it and push it and just try to encourage people because a lot of people think it's a lot of work and I said it's not it's or they think well I don't know a lot about you know fast fun things like that um and so you don't have to know a lot you just have to have a um I'm sorry just that attitude or um the willingness to help so yeah 
that that's perfect. I mean, the thing I always say is you don't you don't have to know everything about how to go to college. You just have to know, um, not know even. You just have to be willing to encourage. You have to be willing yeah. to lift a student up. That's that's really where the power comes into play. Well, Jada, thank you so much for hopping on and for sharing a little bit about your mentoring perspective. I know uh, we really appreciate your many years of service, and it's it's so valuable to us as a team to have you supporting mentor recruitment, but also students up there in Sumner County. So thank you so much. No problem. I enjoy it. Awesome.